Guys, we're at the back of the house here, so I figured let's just do a little update on the chainsaw tracky. All right, so we're third week of April. Look at that, beauty, not even phased. Somebody wanna know where they cut it off with the chainsaw. So that's all new growth since February 12, 2021. It was cut off there. There's the base of the stump. And then, so here the chainsaw ran through it there. Then they proceeded to cut down a huge eucalyptus tree, thank God. And I hope it's not sprouting back again. I don't want it to, I ripped all the growth off. I really don't want it here. I think it's toast, hopefully. Anyway, so that's the new growth since February 12, 2021. And it's got a full crown on it. So they're pretty fast here. Actually very fast, Trachycarpus. And it is like a jungle back here. Even the very few palms, the marginal ones that we did lose, you can never tell that we lost them or any empty spots in the garden because we have such a full garden it is so full of palm trees, it doesn't even put a dent in it, really. All right. Thanks for watching, and make sure the base planting when you're in the north, this far north, the main planting should be Trachycarpus fortunae if you want a palm garden, right? Because those are the ones that are going to stay standing after a really bad freeze. And that was a bad December freeze. Late December, one week of cold, and all the little palm trees. Trachycarpus palms are good. There's the variegated one right there. All right. And there is the uh, <laughs> mule palm right there. Jubea loses its center spear, mule palm doesn't. Go figure, one of the mule palms did over by that Stevenson screen. All right, so it was minus eight degrees Celsius down there, 17.5, pretty cool. But this is a good time of the year, man, just the growth. It's like a freaking jungle in here. Absolute thick jungle-like garden. There's so many palm trees down there. All right, thanks for watching and we'll keep you updated on this chainsaw tracky. Cheers.